Hey YouTube, welcome back to Axis and Allies of the Garrison. This is Detroit coming to you from the bunker here in Rochelle Park, New Jersey with another episode of the YouTube Wars. It is episode 1.6 and in Italy, it is Italy's turn. Now, Italy is under the command of, of uh, Hilltop Pillbox. Okay, now for those of you who do, who do not know, Hilltop is a YouTuber who creates excellent uh, content in his channel. If you haven't done so already, I suggest that you go ahead and check uh, his channel uh, where he has over 1,000 subscribers. All right, so earlier this round, uh, Sire Blood did not attack uh, Italy uh, in a Taranto raid, allowing the bulk of the Italian fleet to survive. This gives uh, Hilltop the opportunity to maximize uh, strategy-wise uh, his options in the Mediterranean. I would like to see what Hilltop does. Very interesting. Uh, he has a lot of options, and let's see what he does. Okay, so uh, enjoy this episode, and let me know as always. Let's go ahead with uh, the Italian turn. But before we do so, I must mention that we have to also uh, resolve the technical issue uh, with China. We will also be uh, recapping China's turn. Finally, uh, we resolved the technical issues that we were having there. And we will go ahead and do so with that as well prior to the Italian turn. Uh, some housekeeping first. Uh, during uh, the UK's turn... Uh, there was an issue uh, where the British fleet that attacked the German submarine in season 109 it turned out that it was an illegal move. Uh, as it turned out, the British fleet did not have the two cruisers and the British battleship did not have a destroyer uh, company in them. So hence, the submarine could not be attacked. Uh, for some reason, we all missed that and we continued uh, with the attack. However... As a consequence, this submarine is returned and is still alive. Okay, the British will then go on to, all right, build their uh, destroyer and submarine, which means then that round two, this situation in season 109 will be resolved. All right, so let's not forget also that the Germans, uh, during their turn, uh, inflicted a lot of damage. Okay, uh, as a recap here, inflicted a lot of damage on the uh, English on the UK where they were able to uh, destroy three of the British fighters as well as one French fighter. Okay, this of course uh, gave a big black eye to the British war effort uh, and it manifested uh, also uh, in the Mediterranean where uh, Sire Blood uh, chose not to go with a Taranto raid allowing the bulk of the uh, Italian fleet to survive. And I'm going to assume that uh, Sire did not go over Taranto because of what occurred in England where the British lost uh, all of their aircraft. Thus, the UK had no choice but to replenish or replace all of its lost uh, uh, aircraft. Because if, it does, if they don't do so, the potentiality exists that the Germans will then go with a sea lion uh, either around probably round three or round four. So as a preventive me measure, 
uh, Cyrus had no choice but to buy uh, fighters for the English. All right, so no Taranto raid happened. The British fleet uh, in the Mediterranean chose instead to uh, regroup and go sail over or make steam for C-Zone 76, all right? In the UK Pacific, nothing much happened. Sire did not attack the British, did not uh, go on the offense. Uh, the only thing of uh, notice here was that uh, Sire did choose to land one British infantry uh, in the Chinese French will be attacking the province of uh, the, the Japanese held Chinese of Yunnan with six, entry, six infantry coming over from Sichuan. So that's six infantry attacking the two Japanese and one artillery Japanese uh, divisions defending Yunnan. Uh, up in the north, the province of Anhui, uh, where you have four Japanese and one artillery uh, divisions defending, will be attacked by three cavalry. Okay, actually, these three cavalry are actually in Shenzi. So that's a, you know, a little correction there. These three cavalry will be uh, attacking at a movement of two. All right, the, the Japanese in Amway, as well as the two infantry from Kuichao will be moving in and joining that attack as well. The, inf the, the uh, Chinese uh, fighter, the Flying Tigers uh, squadron here, will be moving at a movement of two. One and two will have two movements left in its gas cage and will also be joining in that attack. All right, so in total, the Japanese will be attacked uh, Two different uh, battles, okay? Uh, first battle will be in Yunnan. Second battle will be in Am uh, in Anway. Total of two battles. All right, before we go ahead with uh, the results of the order of battle, let's first review uh, or go over the purchases that Sired made for his Chinese forces in uh, China. So at the beginning of uh, this turn, China had 12 IPCs. Uh, that allowed China to purchase a total of four infantry. Uh, for a total of four infantry divisions were recruited for the Chinese. So let's go ahead with the results of the order of combat. As I stipulated or stated earlier, in Yunnan, the Chinese uh, were successful in uh, taking out the Japanese. Uh, they ended up taking out the two defending infantry and one artillery division at a loss of two Chinese infantry divisions that were knocked out from the province of Yunnan. So the Chinese only lost two infantry. Up in uh, the Chinese province of Amway, uh, the Chinese were able to take out four Japanese infantry as well as one Japanese uh, artillery division and at a loss of uh, two infantry. So the Chinese again lost a total of two infantry in this attack. All right, so let's go ahead then into the non combat movements. This uh, American fly, uh, American, uh, uh, what is it? The Flying Tigers will move at a movement of two, one and two, and it'll land in the province of Shenzi. All right, and we will then now go ahead. That's it for the non-combat movements for the Chinese. We will go ahead with the placements of the four infantry divisions that were recruited for the Chinese. So, Sire placed one infantry division in Sichuan, another one in Kuichao. And the remaining two of the four that were purchased were placed in Amway. All right, so if I'm not mistaken now, the Chinese will add on an additional two IPCs worth of liberated territories at a, for a total of 10 IPCs. Let's not forget now that the Burma Road is back in operational order, which means then that that's a national objective, which equates to an additional six IPCs. That means then that 10 plus 6 is 16, and the Chinese will be collecting in this round a total of 16 IPCs uh, that will allow them to make uh, additional purchase round two. All right, so let's go ahead over to the, to the Italians. All right, so it is Italy's turn. Let's go uh, and review the purchases that Hilltop Pillbox made for the Italians. Okay, the Italians have a starting income of 10 IPCs uh, round one. And they'll be purchasing one naval transport and will be recruiting one uh, infantry division for the Italian army. Okay, so let's go ahead over and review the order of combat. And they'll be as follows. I believe there will be a total of seven battles that the Italians will be 
declaring uh, this turn. So the first battle will be the battle for Kenya, where the Italians will be moving in one artillery division and one from Ethiopia and an infantry division coming from Italian Somaliland and will be attacking the two British infantry divisions in Kenya. Okay, the second battle will be for Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, which will be two infantry divisions coming from Ethiopia and will be attacking the single British infantry division in Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. All right, further up north in the Mediterranean, you have the naval transport, okay, uh, being attacked by a lone Italian fighter moving at a movement of one, coming from southern Italy, movement of two. Moving into season 99, and that Italian fighter will have two movements left, and it will automatically sink the British naval transport in season 99. I'm removing that uh, transport right now. It's an automatic kill. Okay, just uh, as a side note, in the BBR, if you have two defending naval transports, the two defending naval transports get to engage at a die roll of one or less. But that's only when you have naval transports that are paired at least with two. Okay, so that's according to the BBR. But in this instance, you only have one naval transport defending, so it does not get uh, a defense at all. And of course, this is only for attacking aircraft, all right? Attacking aircraft only. All right, so let's go over to sea zone 93 where you have the British, uh, the, the, the French fleet made up of a cruiser and destroyer being attacked by the Italian fleet coming over from sea zone 95 at a movement of one. In addition, you have the fighter in southern Italy mo moving at a movement of one and two. Okay, that fighter will have two movements left in its gas gauge, will be joining that attack in sea zone uh, 93 as well. All right, so further up to the northeast, you have, okay, the... Italian bomber moving at a movement of four, one, two, three, and four, and it'll go ahead and attack, actually be performing an industrial air raid on the minor industrial complex in the Ukraine, all right? So that's at a movement of four, that this bomber will have two movements left in its gas gauge, and keep in mind, this bomber is coming from northern Italy, all right? So that's uh, the fifth battle there's an additional battle which i was forgetting and it'll be as follows it'll be the naval transport in season 97 will pick up one artillery and one division infantry division and it'll move down south to season 96 and it will take the island of malta okay and i believe this is battle number five i'm mistaken there so this is battle number five and of course the last last but not least uh the battle for yugoslavia you have Two infantry coming over from northern Italy, a movement of one. And then you have an additional uh, infantry and armored unit coming over from Albania. will be attacking the, the single or the lone Yugoslavian infantry division defending Yugoslavia. Okay, so that'll be three infantry and two Italian armored uh, divisions attacking the defending Yugoslav infantry division in Yugoslavia. Okay, and that's it for all, all of the six battles actually seven battles kind of have my numbers a little bit mis uh, 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 all messed up here all right so we shall be back then with the result of the order of combat all right so let's review the results of the order of battle uh that took place so in the battle uh, for kenya okay the british uh lost both of their defending infantry the italians only lost one infantry which means that they're able to take the territory of Kenya. All right, in Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, the two attacking Italian infantry divisions were able to take out, I'm sorry, this is, got a, somehow I ended up having a Italian defending uh, Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, but that's actually a British here. So the two infantry Italian divisions that were attacking were able to take out the British infantry division at no loss of, the, of their own okay uh let's go up north now the strategic air raid that took place in the ukraine uh the triple a did engage however it did not shoot down the attacking italian strategic bomber 
the Russians uh, did sustain seven points worth of damage to that minor industrial complex. All right, so, all right, so let's go over to the battle for Yugoslavia. The Italians were able to take out the single Yugoslav defending infantry to no loss of their own. So Yugoslavia was taken out. Okay, and the naval battle in Sea Zone 93, uh, the French lost their fleet, their cruiser and destroyer. The Italians did lose one submarine in that uh, battle. All right, so let's go ahead with our non-combat movements uh, that the Italians made. So um, the bomber that attacked uh, the Russian industrial complex, the minor industrial complex in the Ukraine, has two movements left in its gas gauge at a movement of two. That's one, two. That bomber will land in Romania and link up with the so, with the German armies in that territory. All right, uh, I must point out that I uh, made an error here. In this attack that the Italians performed on Yugoslavia, it wasn't an army unit. It was actually an Italian artillery piece that joined that attack. So that's my mistake, and it's corrected. Um, all right, what else? The fighter that uh, performed the attack on Sea Zone 93 will go back to southern Italy at a movement of two. All right, same thing with the fighter. Uh, in season nine, in season ninety-nine, it'll at a movement of two will go back and land in southern Italy. The Italian naval transport will pick up the Italian armored unit, and one infantry division will sail or make steam south and will link up with the other Italian naval transport and will land the infantry division and one. <laughs> armored unit or division in Tobruk. Okay, so both of these naval transports are now linked up. The Italian fleet made up of a cruiser and battleship will make steam and head south as well and link up with the naval transport fleet in sea zone 96. All right, let me make this, uh, clean this up a bit. Uh, the two infantry divisions, Italians will make use of the railways at a movement of two, one, and two will go to southern France, okay? And that's where they are at now. Um, what else, what am I forgetting here? Okay, the remaining infantry, Italian infantry division in Albania will head east and will annex the four Bulgarian uh, divisions uh, in Bulgaria. So now that's a total of uh, five Axis infantry divisions in Bulgaria that are under the command of the Italians. Okay, what else? I think I'm pretty much done with all the non-combats. I don't see anything else that I may have forgotten here. All right, so I think I've done all of them. So then let's go ahead with the uh, income tracker. So the Italians uh, will go up one, two, Anglo-Egyptian Sudan, two, four, for Yugoslavia and an additional one for Bulgaria. So that's another IPC. So that's a total of five IPCs. So the Italians collected or started the, uh, the first round with five IPCs. No correction, 10. They now have 15 plus five of the territories that they just conquered, right? There are no allied warships in the Mediterranean. So that's a national objective of five, which now brings them up to 20. They also have a secondary national objective of the Italian, um, what is it, the, the, the Horn of, of Africa, which is an additional four IPCs. So Italy now has a total of 24 IPCs that it is collecting uh, this turn. So not bad, I would say. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, not bad for Italy. Italy started out with 10 IPCs this turn and now we'll collect 24 IPCs that it will carry over to round two. Not a bad start at all for Italy. Definitely Italy is projecting uh, its firepower in the Mediterranean and needless to say the fact that uh, Taranto never took place allows the Italian Navy to really go on the offense. Italy could 
take out the French fleet in season 93 and still project its power by performing an attack in Malta and reinforcing its forces in Italy, okay, forcing the British to fall back into Egypt. Very interesting, and I like where the Italians are going, and good for, uh, for Hilltop. He did an amazing job, and I am very impressed, and I like where the Italians are going. And also is a little bit of uh, icing on the cake, I would say. The attack on the industrial complex in uh, U the Ukraine was definitely uh, a plus for the Axis. Uh, the Russians now have to deal with this situation here where they can't produce in the Ukraine without first having to repair the damage uh, done on that minor industrial complex. And needless to say, they're facing the powerful German army group, Army Group South, uh, directly in front of them. So uh, the fact that that minor industrial complex is damaged really hinders the Russian war effort. All right, so, all right guys, uh, it is the end of this turn. Uh, Italy is done. Now it is, G.I. Joe's turn with uh, the Anzacs, Australian, New Zealanders, and the French as well. And that'll be, uh, once that's performed, that'll be the end of round one. And shortly we will be starting round two with Dutch Lancaster. But that's uh, after G.I. Joe has made the final uh, moves with the French and the Anzacs as well. All right, guys, this is the end of this uh, episode. As always, uh, let me know what you what you think, and uh, if you think that the strategies here that are being implemented by our friends are the right ones, let me know. And as always, don't forget to bunker down and play.